Waters here have become plagued with sheets of ice that are 10 feet thick. But don't fear, because ice-breaking ships are able to smash, hit, and ram their way through the ice without much of a problem. So let's begin today's video as we take a look at the top 15 most incredible ice-breaking ships. Number 15. NS-50 Let Pobody. The NS-50 Let Pobody is an extremely powerful icebreaker. This ship was finally completed in 2007 after a series of delays in funding and a fire. She's a nuclear-powered icebreaker who boasts exceptional maneuverability and above-average speed. This incredible icebreaking ship can travel at speeds of up to 21 knots, which is pretty fast for an icebreaking ship. It's 542 feet long, 66 feet wide, and has a digital automated control system. And along with her high-tech features, she treats her guests pretty well. Anyone on board the ship can partake in any one of her lavish amenities, including a swimming pool, a music saloon, an exercise facility, a library, and a restaurant. She also offers trips to the North Pole, so if you're thinking of taking in all that the North Pole has to offer, why not do it in style aboard this amazing ice-breaking ship? Number 14. USCGC Healy USCGC Healy was commissioned in 1999, and she's the United States' largest and most technologically advanced icebreaker. She's also the largest vessel of the U.S. Coast Guard. Her first claim to fame happened on September 5, 2015, when she became the first unaccompanied United States surface vessel to reach the North Pole. She was built in New Orleans, Louisiana by Avondale Industries, but her home port is in Seattle, Washington. Healy was designed to conduct research activities, and as such, she features more than 4,200 square feet of laboratory space, as well as oceanographic winches, electronic sensor systems, and room for up to 50 scientists. Healy can make her way through ice that's four and a half feet thick continuously at three knots and run at temperatures as low as negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 13. RV Polar Stern when it comes to Arctic expeditions, you'll be hard-pressed to find an icebreaker as well-versed as the iconic RV Polar Stern. She was part of the largest Arctic expedition in history called Mosaic. During that expedition, a hundred crew members, researchers, and technicians lived aboard this incredible icebreaking ship and conducted studies in the Arctic to gain insight about climate change and global warming. But Mosaic is not this ship's only expedition. The RV Polar Stern spends around 317 days per year on average in operation and covers up to 50,000 nautical miles annually. She was the first research vessel to travel through both the Northwest Passage and the Northeast Passage in one cruise. The RV Polar Stern is 387 feet long and has a displacement of 17,300 tons and can ram her way through ice that's 9 feet thick. She also carries some of the most advanced and sophisticated equipment around, and she's still going strong. So who knows where her next Arctic adventures will lead. Number 12. RRS Sir David Attenborough The RRS Sir David Attenborough made her first maiden voyage in November 2021, when she went to Antarctica. She is a powerful ice-breaking ship that's primarily used for research and logistical support. She's operated by the British Antarctic Survey and is owned by the National Environment Research Council. Unlike a lot of other ships who take a break from icebreaking during certain seasons, the RRS Sir David Attenborough was designed to be operational year-round. So there's no rest for this 423-foot-long ship. She travels at a cruising speed of about 17 and a half knots and can accommodate up to 60 scientists comfortably. Number 11. CCGS Louis S. St. Laurent The CCGS Louis S. St. Laurent works for the Canadian Coast Guard, and she's a heavy Arctic icebreaker. She's stationed at St. John's, Newfoundland, and Labrador, and she's the largest icebreaker in the Canadian Coast Guard. In the summer, the Louis S. St. Laurent travels to Canada's Arctic, where she helps with the annual Arctic Sea Lift at several coastal communities. She also carries out scientific expeditions. During the winter, she sometimes helps ships in the Gulf of St. Lawrence make their way to Montreal, Quebec, especially when the ice is particularly thick. She first entered service in 1969, and through a series of planned refits, is believed that she'll continue service throughout the 2020s. Number 10. Russia Rossia is the sister ship to Arctica, the world-famous ship that had the honor of being the first surface ship to reach the North Pole. However, like most sisters, Rossia refused to live in her sister's shadow, so she fought her own glory to get herself out from Arctica's shadow. 
Rossio was successful. In 1990, she became the first ship to carry commercial passenger traffic from the geographic North Pole, so Rossio is famous in her own right. She spent the winter of 2012 to 2013 stationed in the Gulf of Finland, but even though she was famous for escorting passengers to the legendary North Pole, she was taken out of service in 2013. Number 9. Shirase Shirase was launched on April 16, 2008, and she's a Japanese icebreaker. Shirase is operated by the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, or the JMSDF. This incredible icebreaking ship is 452 feet long, and she's a diesel-electric ship. She can break through ice that's up to 5 feet thick at a speed of 3 knots, but when there's no ice in her way, she can get up to speeds of 19 and a half knots. Her home port is Yokosuka, but she commonly travels to Antarctica for expeditions. Shirase has room for 80 scientists, and she's named after a large glacier in Antarctica, Nobu Shirase. And while her expeditions have likely afforded her some fame in the scientific community, she also found fame in headlines when she ran aground in February 2014 near Molodezhnaya Station in Antarctica. Her outer hull was damaged, but surprisingly overall she was okay and lived to see another ice-breaking day. Number 8. Snow Dragon 2 Snow Dragon 2, or MV Zhulong 2 as she's officially called, was China's first domestically built polar research vessel. She follows the first MV Zhulong, which is China's first polar research vessel. It just wasn't built domestically. MV Zhulong 2 started service in 2019, and she was built by Acre Arctic, a Finnish engineering company at the Jingyang shipyard. Snow Dragon 2 provides supplies for China's research facilities in the Antarctic and Arctic regions, but she also conducts research too from time to time. She's got the ability to conduct both biological and geological research. This Chinese icebreaking ship is 402 feet long with a beam of 73 feet and a displacement of 14,000 tons. Number 7. Tamir and Vegach Tamir and Vegach are often spoken of together since they're sister ships. They are shallow draft nuclear powered icebreakers, and they were built in 1989 for the Soviet Union. As such, these sister ships are owned by the Russian Federation and are operated by Atomflot. They both have a length of 490 feet and require a crew of more than 100. They've got some unique features. For example, they have a winter garden that provides fresh veggies to crew members while they're on board. This is important because sometimes this ship and her crew has to operate through the polar night, a time frame where it's dark pretty much all of the time. They're also known as shallow draft icebreakers, which means they can go where a lot of larger icebreaking ships cannot. They tend to operate along the Arctic coastal routes in the spring and winter, but because they're shallow draft icebreakers, they can operate through rivers and estuaries, so these sister ships are pretty versatile in comparison to some of their larger counterparts. Number 6. Your Mac. Okay, we're doing a throwback to the early days of icebreaking ships with this next one on our list. Yermak has the honor of being the world's first icebreaking ship. Yermak was built for Russia, and she was able to break through ice of up to 2 meters thick. She was commissioned in December of 1897, and she set sail for the first time in March of 1899. Her hull was 93 meters long and 21 meters wide. She featured an inclined stem, which enabled her to break through the ice with the weight of her hull. She was a very busy ship, being the only one of her kind. In the first 12 years, she spent more than a thousand days in ice. She was enlisted in the Baltic Fleet during World War I, and in 1918 she rescued Russian ships during a voyage from Helsinki to Kronstadt. During the 1920s and 30s, Yermak transferred cargo in the Baltic, and in 1938 she helped evacuate polar explorers from the North Pole 1 base. She received the Order of Lenin on her 50th anniversary in 1944, and in 1964 this famous and iconic icebreaking ship was finally decommissioned and dismantled in Murmansk. Number 5. Yamal Built for service in the Arctic seas, Yamal is powerful and an incredible icebreaking ship. She's owned by the Russian Federation and she's an Arctica-class nuclear-powered icebreaker, which first launched in 1989. She's 486 feet long and has a displacement of 23,000 tons. She travels at a max speed of about 20 knots, but along with all the ordinary icebreaker details, Yamal has a feature that others do not. She is one of the most powerful and sophisticated icebreaker ships built to date. She's powered by two pressurized water nuclear reactors, each weighing 160 tons. 
Furthermore, each reactor has 245 enriched uranium fuel rods. These reactors are protected by high-density concrete and steel, and they're in a closed compartment under reduced pressure. And while her reactors make her a massively powerful ship, sometimes what makes us powerful in one place is our weakness in another. Yamal relies on cold waters for her cooling system, so she cannot go anywhere with tropical waters. This means she can't go to Antarctica because to do so she'd have to cross through the tropics. So she's confined to the northern polar region, where she makes her expeditions and offers us passengers tours to the North Pole from time to time. Number 4. Viktor Chernomyrdin Viktor Chernomyrdin is Russia's largest and most powerful diesel-electric icebreaker. The ship is owned by Rosmoport, and its port of registry is in St. Petersburg, Russia. This massive icebreaker was built by the Baltic Shipyard and Admiralty Shipyard. She was first launched on December 30th, 2016. She's got a displacement of 22,000 tons and a length of 482 feet. This ship is an ICE-class RMRS Icebreaker 8, and she spends most of her time stationed in the Baltic Sea. The ship's ICE class, Icebreaker 8, means that the ship can operate in Arctic seas with ice as thick as 10 feet. She can also move continuously through ice that's 7 feet thick with upwards of an 8-inch snow cover, and can do this at about 2 knots. The main priority of this ship is to escort merchant ships to Vitosk, Viborg, and Primorsk. She can, however, do some other things. She's equipped for emergency towing as well as rescue operations, so she can help other vessels if they get stuck out at sea. She's also capable of oil spill response, firefighting, and underwater and offshore construction. And the ship has a scientific laboratory space that spans 3,200 square feet. In 2022, she, along with the Swedish icebreaker Odin and the drilling vessel Dina Polaris, will take part in an Arctic expedition called the IODP Expedition 37, or the Arctic Ocean Paleoceanography. The expedition aims to recover 50 million year old sediment samples from the underwater Lomonosov Ridge. Why are they doing this? Well, because scientists hope that these samples will help them better understand the changing climate of the Arctic, which in turn will help guide some of our responses in regard to climate change moving forward. Number 3. USCGC Polar Sea one of the world's most powerful class of non-nuclear icebreakers, the USCGC Polar Sea, goes by a lot of different nicknames. The Polar Roller, the Wandering Arctic Bag of Garbage, and the Red Tubs of Fun are some names used in reference to this powerful icebreaking ship. Furthermore, the ship has a motto that's always summer, never warm, which speaks to her constant deployment in the Antarctic region. The Polar Sea was constructed by Lockheed Shipbuilding and Construction Company of Seattle. She was commissioned in 1977, and her home port is in Seattle, Washington. The Polar Sea has a length of 399 feet, a crew of 24 officers, and can accommodate 33 scientists. The ship also features a 12-person helicopter detachment, as well as four lounges, a gym, a movie library, a photo lab, and a small ship store. She can break ice that's three feet thick and do so at speeds of about three knots. The Polar Sea is mainly a scientific research platform, and as such, it features onboard laboratories for scientists. Her areas of specialization are volcanology, sea ice physics, geology, and oceanography. Throughout her service, Polar Sea has been used to break a channel through the sea ice so other ships can use the channel. These other ships need this channel because it's how they resupply the McMurdo Station in the Ross Sea. Along with her sister ship, the Polar Star, Polar Sea is a very important part of the supply chain to Antarctica. Number 2. Kapitan Dranitsyn Many icebreaking ships have their own designated routes or areas, depending on what they were built for. But when it comes to world travel, Kapitan Dranitsyn trumps them all. The ship was built in Finland by the Wartsila Helsinki shipyard, but she is a Russian research vessel for both the Arctic and Antarctic Research Institute, or the AARI. This means she has seen her fair share of worldwide travel, as she explores both the south and north ends of the Earth. The incredible icebreaker is operated by the Murmansk Shipping Company, and she's on the older side of icebreakers compared to some others on this list. Kapitan Dranitsyn was first launched in 1975, and although she may be as old as Disco, don't let her age fool you. This ship is very much still in service, and she's still being used for research as well as some other functions. Throughout her years in operation, Kapitan Dranitsyn has been used for piloting cargo ships on the northern sea route. In fact, she's also played a crucial role in this route. 
She's also made research cruises to the Laptev Sea, the Barents Sea, the Bering Sea, and the Arctic Ocean. But along with her serious work, research, piloting, icebreaking, she's also had a little fun over the years. Kapitan Dranitsyn has made some tourist voyages. She's brought passengers to the Bering Strait, to the North Pole, and to Franz Josef Land, to name a few. And in addition to all her research and tours, this incredible ship made a voyage around the world in 1996. She travels at speeds of 19 knots in open water and 2 knots when she's breaking her way through the 4-foot thick ice. She's got a length of 423 feet and a depth of 40 feet, a displacement of 14,000 tons and room for 102 passengers. Few other icebreakers, if any, are as well-traveled and as well-loved as Kapitan Doranitsyn. Number 1. The Arctica The most powerful, the largest, and the most renowned icebreaking ship in the world, this is Arctica, and she's an icebreaking ship unlike any other. She hails from Russia, and she's a nuclear-powered icebreaker that was built to replace the previous class of Arctica ships. Currently, there are two ships built in this class, with seven more in the works. Arctica is 570 feet long, 168 feet tall, and has a displacement of about 33,000 tons. She can cruise along at a max speed of about 22 knots, but when she's working her way through ice, she slows down to around 2 knots. Arctica escorts merchant ships north of Siberia in the Arctic Ocean, and because she goes where the ice is thick, she needs to break through some pretty thick ice. Arctica can break through ice that's 9 feet thick, because she's installed with two RITM-200 nuclear reactors and two turbo generators. She's often called the largest and most powerful icebreaker in the world, which is why Arctica has worked her way into the top spot on this list of top 15 incredible icebreaking ships. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.